let's imagine that this white dough is the alveolar bone, which is the part of the jaw that holds the teeth. This is how the teeth looks like inside the alveolar bone. And this red dough resembles the gingiva or the mucosa, which cover the underlying alveolar bone. The dental elevator consists of a handle, a shank, and a blade. The blade of the straight elevator is concave on its working side, and it's placed toward the tooth to be elevated. The handle of the elevator is usually in line with the shank, and is enlarged to allow it to be grasped in the palm of the hand. Here you can see the liver principle of the straight elevator. A liver is a mechanism for transmitting a modest force with the mechanical advantages of a long liver arm and a short effector arm into a small movement against great resistance. In this cross section of the bone and the gingiva, you can notice the witch principle. A straight elevator is used to luxate a tooth from its socket. A small elevator is wedged into the verodontal ligament space which displaces the root toward the occlusion and thus out of the socket. Which principle is used by positioning a straight elevator tip between the tooth and the alveolar bone and applying a slow and constant apical pressure to tear the periodontal ligament attachment from the bone and luxating the root or the tooth.